Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She had the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello Pisces and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Pisces, this reading is uh, to give you some spiritual guidance through this eclipse, okay? So let's see what energies are surrounding you during the eclipse. Um, quick public service announcement. I am running a 50% sale off on all personal readings. There will be an extended to this reading. You can find a link to the extended reading, whether you're a member or not, in the description box below. So let's see what energies this eclipse is bringing towards you, Pisces. Spirit. If you find this reading don't resonate with you, check your rising Venus, moon, and north node energies, okay? Spirit. What energies is this, is this eclipse bringing towards Pisces? Two of Wands. What energies is this eclipse bringing towards Pisces, Spirit? Please and thank you. The Ace of Wands. What energies is this eclipse bringing towards Pisces, Spirit? Please and thank you. I'm going to do your love reading after this. What energies is this eclipse bringing towards Pisces spirit? Please and thank you. What energies is this eclipse bringing towards Pisces? Mm. All right, Pisces, the signs I have out here are Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Sagittarius. So you need to make a decision. This eclipse is going to um, basically put you in a place where you need to go, you need to make some decisions. Do you want to start something and grow this? But it requires you closing out some sort of cycle, okay? And and it's like the cycle you have to close out is in relation to a marriage, a commitment, or some sort of stability. It's like things need to be done in moderation, okay? And you have to... You have to figure out how do you balance this out, your home life versus your party life. But I see that this eclipse going to help you come to some sort of resolution, uh, Pisces. Okay, why do I want to say, I just did say it to Maybe some of y'all done with say it to But it's like you're going to have to make a decision. Do you put the energy into closing something out in relation to your stability, a marriage commitment or your home. And if you do that, how do you do it in an amicable fashion? At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, the reading for this reading is the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Some of you are done with a Libra, but this involves you having um to be fair. This has to be fair. Okay. So there's gonna be a truthful conversation about some fairness and might and involve might involve cutting something out. So with the seven of swords and judgment, some of you done with Scorpio. Um, I feel like um there somebody there's an opportunity. Like somebody looking at this opportunity like it, it's treachery. Like they just trying to deceive me, backstab me. Okay, with the page of wands, every Leo Sagittarius energy. So there's something involving some travel. And somebody doesn't trust this travel. They do not trust this travel. So their decision is based off of that. They're like, look, I, I don't trust this. Is it going to be some treachery? You know, is this going to hurt me? So Pisces, you need to make a decision with this two of wands. You need to make a decision, and I feel like you find something very beautiful, but it's almost like you're concerned about some decision you need to make. Why is this decision here for Pisces Spirit? Please and thank you.
At the bottom of the deck, you have Dried Flower Fairy, Sweet Memories, and you have Sea Beacon Fairy Guidance, but where will it lead you? So I feel like you're having a conversation about this decision. Something happened in the past, and whatever this past is, you might be guiding someone or someone could be guiding you. It could be involving three people with the three witchy sisters, the power of three. But I feel like you looking at this, you're like, you know what? It was sweet. It used to be so good in the past. But you confused. You confused because you like, can this work? Can we build on this? But I feel like in the past, you always knew what to do. You, I feel like you had a team. You always knew what to do. And right now, you need to work on being true to yourself. Because something, it's like, you, you, you're you angry. You're angry because I feel like you have to keep Thinking about other people doing for other thing, other doing things for other people, but there's some powerful personal growth that's coming into you, Pisces. Like this is really going to grow you up this eclipse, and I do see you completing the cycle. So, Pisces, you got to make a decision about the Lancer Fairy. You like, look, I need a clear solution. I need somebody to tell me what to do. I need to know which way to go. So, you're confused about which way to go. Spirit, what can you tell Pisces about making a decision on which way to go? Like, they want a solution. Maybe you don't. You might be fighting against some transformation. You have expulsion and death. Some of you done with a Scorpio. So it's like you don't, it's like mm, fortify. It's like you don't want something to end. You don't want something to end. It's like there's a transformation here, but you don't want this transformation. You don't want it. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to fortify it. You're trying to rebuild it, you know, instead of letting the transformation happen. But if you let this transformation happen, it will be sweet. You will get sweet results if you allow this transformation. You'll be able to let go of things that no longer serve you. You'll be able to... Uh, some of you need to clear your space because it's affecting your breathing. But I feel like, you know, when it comes to you letting go of what no longer serves you and allowing you to relax, somebody is intruding, impeding upon something it is you're trying to do. Well, Pisces, I feel like you want a clear solution. you like, what's the purpose of this? Because you really don't want to do this with, with repel. It's like you keep trying to protect yourself. It's like somebody wants a solution or you need to make a decision to come to to come to some resolution. And you like, well, what's the purpose of this? Why is this happening? You know what? I just want this to go away. You're repelling something here. Either you don't trust the intentions and you got to make a decision or you trying to find a solution. Like, should I go towards this? Like, what's the purpose? Or maybe I should just protect myself. Why is purpose and repel here for Pisces? It can involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have clearance and fertility. Um, this could be involving a mother and nurturing energy or Libra or Taurus, right? It could be some partnership here. You're receiving some cleansing energy. It's like you can grow if you declutter. You can grow if you let go of what no longer serves you. But it's like you keep repeating this cycle. And I feel like whatever this eclipse is with the cycles is going to reveal something about your union. You are going to get the guidance that you need. 
You are going to get the guidance that you need. You're going to have this awakening. And then you're going to realize that, you know what, I need to make more time for my spiritual practices, whatever that means to you. It's like you're going to dedicate yourself to these changes. And you're going to not, you're not going to forget how things were in the past, but you're going to dedicate yourself to some changes. Because you remember when you felt left alone. You know, you remember being an outcast or you remember some truth. And I feel like somebody is not seeing a whole truth about something. And so you like, look, what, what's your intentions? What's your intentions? Because you was pushing me away. And then it was like, it's like you don't want to be involved with this passion. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. I feel like you just tired of drama. And in this thing that we want to dive deeper into these energies. Sagittarius, you have the Sagittarius. Pisces, you have the Ace of Wands. Why do I keep saying Sagittarius? You have this Ace of Wands. So I feel like you need to make a decision for yourself. There's an energy here where you miss someone. You miss someone, okay? You want to grow with this person. You want to expand with this person, okay? It's like I miss this person. I want to expand with them. And you want to manifest somebody, you want this person to come back, okay? And it's like you feel like things are closing in on you. And, you know, you want to grow. you like, I feel constricted. I want to grow. You know, I want things to happen for me, right? So you might be doing rituals or altar work at this time. Pisces, you have the world, the world. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, energy. So there is completion of some sort of cycle during this eclipse. A wonderful idea, the aha moment. So I feel like once you close out some old ways of doing things, you declutter. You get rid of things that no longer serve you. You clean your space up. You clear out your mind, your body, okay, your spirituality. I feel like you're going to get an aha moment once you close this cycle out. Okay, you need to become more flexible, more adaptable with diversity. Like things aren't like always straightforward and with the shadow, the shadow. So it's like something here where you need to close out some things of like, um, it's something you're doing that's toxic. It's like, I'm here to practice what you preach. I'm hearing, um, it's like your, your, your spirituality got to line up with what you're actually doing. Pisces, like, like something's not fair here. And this truth needs to be talked about. Like, you need to let somebody know, like, no, you finicky. That's what it's like. You might have to call somebody out, like, you finicky. I mean, that's a good idea and all, but... You just can't expect this to happen like that. With the four of wands, the four of wands, this is involving some unity or coming together in some homes, some marriages, some commitment, right? And I am Kylie, some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. It's a transformation happening here. Happening here. That's death energy. It's like from death comes rebirth. So it's like there was some family home or some unity coming together that ended is somebody wants to bring it back to life with reconciliation and foundation. So this is like bringing together a family, a home, you know, rebuilding whatever this is. And in the extended, I'm going to dive deeper into these energies. Pisces, you have temperance. Some of you done with a Sagittarius. It's like somebody need to take their time, do things in moderation with strange Valentine. Love is strange. It's like somebody wants to reconcile, but it's like they're delusional. It's like I'm hearing like you, you, you can't be serious. Somebody like, all right, let, let's come together. Somebody act weird when they start drinking. And it's like somebody don't want to take responsibility over what happened in the past. Somebody needs to take responsibility over what happened in the past and why they left alone and why something's not coming together. Pisces, I feel like there's this passionate energy to make something happen, but it's like somebody's doing it from a dark space in relation to some home, some foundation, 
and or or some marriage or commitment. Somebody need to take accountability for what happened, and there needs to be a truthful conversation here and why as to why something has fell apart. Okay, and I really feel like this is family related. So Pisces in an extended, I'm going to dive deeper into these energies, and we're going to see what's really going on here. Peace, Pisces. I'll see you in the extended.